of our time in Mexico City. It's 15 degrees Celsius right now, which is the perfect sweater weather. Yesterday we walked more than 10 kilometers around Roma Norte area and we visited lots of parks and ate lots of food. Today is all about art and more food. Right now we're heading to a restaurant for breakfast. It doesn't serve Mexican food but it comes highly recommended by many blogs. We are now at Lalo, which is a brunch restaurant and has been featured in many of the blogs as a must-try place in Mexico City. First impressions are that the ambiance is nice and the crowd is hip and young. We got the highly raved French toast. Some reviews mentioned that it was the best French toast of their lives, so we definitely had to try it. I can't really be the judge of French toast, but it was surprisingly soft inside and pretty good. Overall, I think this restaurant caters mostly to the foreigners or the cafe crowd. Food was quite pricey for Mexican standards, but on the upside, there were many cute dogs around. Siesta. Uh, got a good chance to show you what's up. Look, see our living situation. Uh, hi. Got the door. The door. I've got a bunch of junk over here. Camping stuff. Soap. Toothbrush. Toothpaste. All the important stuff. Got a fan. It's cold at night, but. Pretty hot in a day, so we need that. Got our DIY clothes line over here. Super neat. Storage space. Some hangers. It's the bed situation. Brought our sleeping bag liners. And all of our junk. On our way now to try a legendary Mexican dish that you can't find in Singapore. We'll let you know how it tastes. All right, just kidding. The guy was closed, but it opened in an hour, so we'll go back for dinner. Yeah, Google Maps says that they open at 12, but I think you usually should add one hour to the timing. <laughs> That's a good point. Uh, now we're headed to eat something else. Uh, something called Locoyo and some, maybe some quesadilla. So, yeah, we'll see you there. Welcome to Jenny's quesadilla. We've ordered a couple of things, but the first thing is a Vacoyo, which is a uh, oval-shaped quesadilla. That's what it is. Okay, and we ordered it with flor de calabaza, which is the zucchini flour. It's topped with queso, salsa, and cactus. I have no idea how to eat this, but I'm just gonna shove it into my mouth. Okay. Here goes nothing. Oh, hot. Mm. Oh, the cactus, I love the cactus in Mexico. In their crunchy texture, I can't taste the flour at all, but the blue corn. There's some cheese on the inside. Delicious. Okay, let me try the flour by itself. Mm. It's got like a oily, nutty, fatty taste. I think that's from something else. But anyways, delicious. Okay, so now we're trying the chicharron prensado in the quesadilla. And I added queso. Look at that. 
Wow. Okay, it looks like the quesadilla was seared on the outside and it's black because it's made of blue corn, I think. So now I'm going to try it. Mm. I can't quite describe what it tastes like, but it's meat. It tastes like some kind of red sour sauce. And it's really, really tasty. Okay, we just passed by this random taco shop. Tacos Chanito. And we ordered some pacheno, which is a mix of random meats. So it looks really, really good. Okay, first bite. coriander and onions and then see the juice oh my god it's amazing Museums, museums of objects. Yeah, that's true. Anyway, looks like it's closed until July 12th. Although Google Maps said that it was open, so it looks like you can't trust Google Maps here. some birria tacos. Basically, it's uh, some kind of meat. I think it's beef here. Yeah. Normally made of goat. But, uh, oh, <laughs> gracias. But uh, it's in a type of soup for the consomme. And it's uh, slowly cooked in there until it's tender, fall off the bone. And then what you do is you take a, take a taco shell. It's really hot. Take some soup. I don't know, I think the dip or the on the. Some meat. 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 And here goes Piria Taco. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and what makes it even better is you can dip it in the soup. Oh, that makes it 10 times better. <laughs> Gotta try it now. You should come here when in Mexico City. 